Next up on the Pioneer History Channel, we will examine William Lloyd Garrison and his incendiary newspaper, The Liberator. William Lloyd Garrison is a prominent figure with a very radical position at his time concerning slavery. He wished for the immediate emancipation of all slaves, an unpopular idea even in the North. Before we investigate his abolitionist actions, let's dive into his life. Garrison was born on December 10, 1805. As a boy, he lived in Newburyport, Massachusetts. At only age three, Garrison's father abandoned him and his family, leaving his mother to raise the family. Garrison's mother struggled to take care of the family, so at age 13, Garrison took the role of apprentice to the editor of the town's newspaper, the Newsbury Herald, to provide for his family. Garrison started his vocation as an abolitionist at age 24. He became the co-editor of the anti-slavery newspaper, The Genius of Universal Emancipation, where he served a short time in jail for the defamation against a merchant who was involved in the coastal slave trade. Garrison established and helped create many abolitionist organizations such as the American Anti-Slavery Society and the New England Anti-Slavery Society. In 1830, Garrison joined the American Colonization Society. The society advocated that free blacks should relocate to a country in the west of Africa in an effort to continue the institution of slavery in America. By 1831, Garrison had renounced the American Colonization Society, believing the institution of slavery should be abolished immediately. After abandoning the society, Garrison started his own weekly abolitionist periodical, The Liberator. The Liberator appeared with the motto, quote, Our country is the world, our countrymen are mankind. Garrison was described as a militant when describing his views on slavery. In his first issue of The Liberator, on his position on slavery, Garrison says, quote, I am in earnest, I will not equivocate, I will not excuse, I will not retreat a single inch, and I will be heard. In the 35 years Garrison published The Liberator, he published 1,820 editions and never once missed a week. Despite the success of his paper, Garrison was barely making ends meet. When Frederick Douglass created his paper, The North Star, their friendship ended. Garrison was concerned too many of his subscribers would choose The North Star rather than The Liberator. In December 1865, Garrison's last issue was published. Garrison ended his paper with the quote, my vocation as an abolitionist has ended. Garrison lived for 14 more years. In his final 14 years, he campaigned for women's rights, suffrage, and temperance. On May 24, 1879, Garrison passed away. The Liberator had a significant impact on the ideology of the time with regards to slavery. Historians describe The Liberator as the most influential anti-slavery newspaper in the antebellum era. This is described by Donald M. Jacobs in his scholarly article, William Lloyd Garrison's The Liberator and Boston Blacks, quote, that he was able to contribute so much to the attainment of both goals was his lasting triumph. Garrison is considered the most influential white abolitionist, end quote. Most of his influence was due to the consideration as the most radical abolitionist. Though on average, The Liberator only had 3,000 paid subscribers, the paper's radical message of complete abolishment reached many more years. Garrison had not just stated his opinion on, ran on a random newspaper, but rather created a voice for thousands to back, which sparked a wave of abol abolition within the country. Southerners believed that the ideas of the Librea represented most of the people within the North's beginning of the Southern justification of slavery. In 1860, when South Carolina seceded from the Union, Garrison welcomed their secession. In a speech on the use of slavery in the Union, Garrison says, quote, Down with such a Union! While in some ways similar to secession, Garrison's views are considered to be disunion. Secession implies that Garrison was dissatisfied with how the North was being treated by the South, which is not factional. The definition of disunion is the breaking up of something such as a federation. Disunion is much more similar to Garrison's view than secession. William Lloyd Garrison and his newspaper, The Liberator, created a significant shift in the ideology within the country. His very radical ideas created a precedent which eventually led to the abolition of slavery within the United States. Thank you for watching the Pioneer History Channel.